her car may be marinating in the smell of baby snapping turtle pee. Okay, are you ready? We gotta put, you gotta put wheels in your car, babe. Give me like five minutes. Cute 80s music. So I was actually surprised at, to be honest, how simple this was, comparatively speaking, to changing the oil. What's up with that? Well, I am a saucy bee. What's up, people? Okay, so it's the end of the week right now, and my wife is at home, so we're gonna go pick her up because I recently put the exhaust on her Maserati, and I just got her new TSW wheels mounted with tires, which means I think she has to put them on this time and not just me. She has to be part of her own car, yes, but it's raining, so I might have to convince her extra hard. All right, you guys, so there's one other thing I forgot about. So this morning, when I was driving her car down to the shop so I could take the wheels off, um, I was bound along country road by a big ditch and I saw a silhouette. I'm like, that is a baby turtle in the middle of the road. So I stopped and scooped him up. It's a little baby snapping turtle. I'll save him. We're going to put him, get him off the road at least. And, uh, I looked at the drainage ditch and I'm like, that ecosystem is trashed. So, uh, I knew there's a little pond by the shop. So I brought him along and he was really chill when I picked him up. He's like, Grr, I was just sitting on this road. What are you doing? And then I got him in the Maserati and he's like, <laughs> I'm out of here. So I put him in the cup holder and I'm like, ah, oh, he'll just sit there. No, he wanted to go explore. And there's a little puddle in it, which I already Instagrammed this, so I don't know if my wife has seen yet. And people noticed a little puddle in the cup holder, which may or may not be turtle pee. And I really didn't think much about it because I'm like, save the turtle. Uh, but her car may be marinating in the smell of baby snapping turtle pee. So I kind of hope it's not like that uh, after we get the wheels on. So we'll find out. So everybody, shh, we'll see if she notices if her car smells like turtles. Okay, I'm almost there. You ready? Did you look at Instagram today? No, why? Oh, no reason. What, what did you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? What did you do? I, I saved the baby turtle. Is that really what you did? Yes, I saved the baby turtle. Where was that baby turtle? He was in the road. Oh. I picked him up in your car. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he peed in the cup holder or not. Uh-huh. He was, and? He was really cute. Well, if he was ri riding in the Maz, that must mean he's a speedy turtle. He's bougie now. Oh, bougie turtle. Okay, are you ready? We gotta put, you gotta put wheels in your car, babe. Give me like five minutes. You're working? Yes. After five. I, I know. Is that legal? It's a corporation. They have some bureaucracies not overwork you, right? Mm, no. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so you have to put your wheels on. Yeah. You ever put wheels in a car? Really? You think I put wheels on a car? I don't know. I thought you said you, no, you changed oil with your dad. You never changed the tire? No. All your wheels are back there. You know, showing the people. Yes, wheels. Have you uh, looked at them with the tires on? Well, yeah. You like them? Sort of. Yeah. I mean, they just look like tires right now. I don't really know what they look like without the tire or right. like on the car, you know. Your car is sitting out back of the shop on jack stands, like left in a bad neighborhood. So people stole my wheels. Uh, yeah. well, we got them here. They stole my wheels. Commence wheel installation. Cue '80s music. <laughs> it's sitting out back with the rest of the junk. Oh, that's sad. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks really sad. I kind of have a thing for cars with no wheels. It's my automotive kink. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so actually I wanna give you a quick tip on this. So the thing that made this possible and frankly easy for my wife and I with regard to her Maserati was, I found a website called getyourwheels.com and actually this was years ago before I started doing YouTube full time and that was with my blue with white stripes 1997 Dodge Viper. And I really wanted to get some wheels for it because the original wheels, there was only one set of tires that would fit it and they were very expensive. Turned out it was cheaper for me, especially in the long run, just to get some awesome wheels and get a new set of tires for it that would be better. And I love those white wheels. But I found the getyourwheels.com place and actually Jason over there was incredibly helpful because this dude knows like every car, every wheel manufacturer, if they're good, if they're bad, if they're gonna fit, how much you can get away with one side or the other on size and it really just cut out so much of the research. So I was really thankful for that. And actually with this project, I really wanna give a shout out for it. So check out the description below. There's getyourwheels.com, but also I'm super excited here because these, believe it or not, are TSWs. And these were a bolt pattern and size and all for my wife's Maserati that they normally make. So this doesn't have to be some insanely wildly expensive, like three piece forge wheel, blah, 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 that costs more than the car does. But uh, I think this is a super quality wheel, TSW. I think they look great too. Had a number of different choices and I just sent it to my wife and said, hey, which one do you like most? So between TSW being awesome with these wheel selection that's actually affordable, that'll let me go ahead and get her some amazing all season tires in exactly the size we want. We're able to go just a touch wider and get the offset so they're going to look amazing and I'm really excited. But go to getyourwheels.com. Jason is the hookup regardless of what you, ever, what you have to get something on your car economically. And that's a wheel and or tire package. He knows all the manufacturers. And my preference, especially today, obviously Obviously TSW. I think these are just gonna, these are just a home run, you guys. Let's get the rest of these things on. Well, okay, babe, so you got new wheels in your car. How do you like them? They're awesome. They look beautiful, and I really like them a lot. What was the most surprising thing about doing this? So I was actually surprised at, to be honest, how simple this was, comparatively speaking, to changing the oil. I thought I felt like the oil was so much more complicated than this. But then again, you did do all the prep before I got here, so that probably helps too. Well, we got the wheels on the tires and stuff. Okay, so more importantly, we have to figure out does your car smell like turtle pee? Do you want to open it and find out? Guess so. I think it was a puddle, but everybody on Instagram was saying they thought the turtle peed in your car. They probably did. Let's find out. Knowing you. Do you know what turtle pee smells like? Uh, I know what turtles smell like. But do you know what turtle pee smells like? Uh, yeah. Yes, take a whiff. Oh, there's my water bottle. It's just a slight lingering aroma of Going fishing as a kid in the Midwest, yes. So that's what you call turtle pee? Um, yeah, I guess so. So uh, how do you like your Maserati now? <sighs> it's good, I like it. You might have to roll the inner lip of your front fender though. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Do you know what that means? I'm guessing it has something to do with those machines and stuff, that, like the things that you have in your shop. Well, I don't have one for that. Oh. So metal fenders have this like, edge. Oh wait, so it's, and then you have to roll them and like fold them up out of the way so the tires clear perfectly. Sure. It's a hot rodder trick. We will hot rod this Maserati. Okay, so a uh, huge shout out and thank you to uh, Jason at GetYourWheels.com and also mm -hmm. uh, super impressed with these T TSWs. They fit perfectly. They look great. Uh, pretty happy with that. So if you guys are rocking a Maserati Grand Turismo, I think it's a great choice. We'll come back. What else do you want to do to this thing? 
Uh, well, there's a couple things to the interior that we talked about doing, possibly, but that might be a little too big of a project. Oh, well, oh, you mean I have to fix your climate control system? Well, that too. So, uh... I can't be freezing and... People know your, what, your license plate says Saucy B now. Yes, it does. What's up with that? Well, I am a Saucy B. <laughs> On that note, uh, you want to... Let's, let's go get changed and have a cocktail tonight. Uh, yeah, and uh, clean. Yeah. Cleaned up a little. All right, Saucy B and... Out. You guys should subscribe, hit that bell. See you next time. You don't want to say goodbye? Well, a huge thank you to Crush Proof Tubing Company. Since 1949 in Macomb, Ohio, they've been manufacturing custom rubber and plastic tubes for every industry imaginable. No tooling or mold costs, fast and free custom samples, and American-made quality is what sets them apart. But for me, I'm most excited about their exhaust evacuation kit. Different modular pieces and their convoluted custom hoses make it so that I can adapt any car, truck, or motorcycle with an internal combustion engine to get those exhaust gases out of my shop so I can keep working in safety and comfort. But beyond just that, they build a variety of hoses for a custom OEM world. You'll see stretchable drain tubing and bellows, as well as agriculture, medical, and military. So again, guys, Crush Proof Tubing Company, crushproof.com, and go down in the description below to see where to get your free samples for industry or your exhaust tubing.